Hi guys, um, this is gonna be like a pre-talk on my how to paint uh, Deathwings or how to paint the bone armor I would rather say um, yeah so I'm just gonna tell you some things you can need and stuff like that cause um, yeah first of all I have I don't I don't have a tripod to put my camera on just so, so you know um, but uh, I'll do my best to make it look good and um, yeah so as you can see most of these models uh, or all of these model, models I've started painting but the one I'm gonna do the tutorial on is this guy so let's just move the others away and uh, we can slowly begin the tutorial. Um, okay, so here we go. Um, what you need, first of all, you obviously need uh, paint brushes. Uh, and what I like to use is, first of all, the base coat brush. Um, to put on the first layer of ooh, where is that paint? Uh, oh, th there we go. Uh, Commander Kaki. So, um, yeah, yeah, well, whatever. Uh, you're gonna need a base coat brush. Um, let's see. Uh, a detail brush and uh, the fine detail brush uh, you could just go with the one of one of the detail brushes if you'd like you go with the uh, basic brush and detail brush or basic brush and uh, fine detail brush but uh, personally I, I like it using all, all the three pencils uh, or whatever it's called all the three brushes let's say that <laughs> okay whatever um and yeah so these are the brushes you're gonna need and then the paints i said come on a cocky uh and uh you can see these model is already started but i've just given it a wash uh because what you're gonna need to paint this guy is um, uh, yeah. First of all, you're gonna need a white spray, a skull white spray can, whatever. Uh, just base coated white, uh, as you probably can see on the thunder hammer, and you know, uh, and then just to get this kind of already like a bone-ish color. Um, you just uh, give it a wash of um, let's see where I have this paint it's, it's just a mess on my table right now uh, so we all have to excuse me on that yeah there we go uh, devil in mud uh, so you can see there's, there's a wash in devil mud and then after that you're gonna need a um, coat of commander khaki which is gonna look, uh, I think, when it's done, something like this. Uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, all the okay, this one isn't entirely done, but uh, all the stains on the flat surfaces are gone. You know, but yeah. Anyway, uh, then after that, we're gonna start with the highlighting or blending um, so what you want to do oh yeah I forgot you might need a a where's um, small dry brush because I like to use that when I do the blending uh, but uh, it works with any any pen uh, any brush actually but yeah, and then uh, for the first highlight, you're gonna use uh, bleach bone. 
Um, but yeah, uh, and then the final highlight is obviously skull white. But you can also use um, the. Uh, I mean, I like this uh, this one, um, the Vallejo paints, because it's. Uh, I just think it's better paint, uh, better quality on the paint. Um, but I usually only use this when I'm mixing paint, because um, it's, it's way better. Because you can just drop like how many drops you want in there and yeah so but you you can use either one it doesn't really matter okay so and uh, uh, also I'm gonna when I'm when I'm done with the tutorial on how to paint the armor I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to paint the shoulder pad I can um, the Deathwing symbol, and that tutorial is going to be. It, it works for. It works for Dark Angels and for Deathwings because it's obviously the same icon, but it's red on Deathwing and white on Dark Angels, and they have a little. The Deathwing have a broken sword instead of a. Well, uh whole sword or whatever <laughs> um yeah you get the idea um so uh okay let's uh let's just begin them um,